Crimea may turn militarily worthless for Russia after U.S. aid to Ukraine. Long-range ATA CMS provided by the U.S. to Ukraine have the potential to make Crimea militarily worthless to Russia. Business Insider writes about this with reference to military analyst Philip Kaba. Last week, the New York Times reported that the U.S. had secretly shipped about 100 Army tactical missile systems known as ATA CMS to Ukraine, which has reportedly already put them to use. The U.S. has previously sent ATA CMS with a shorter range, which puts higher value targets in Ukraine's crosshairs. This includes Crimea, occupied by Russia in 2014 and crucial to its military strategy in Ukraine. Philip Kaba, a military analyst with expertise on Ukraine, told Radio Free Europe that the delivery of ATA CMS is a big breakthrough. He said the weapons could basically make Crimea militarily worthless. Crimea has been heavily fortified since President Vladimir Putin's forces occupied it and it serves his military by both land and sea. It's home to the advanced port of Sevastopol, the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. It also serves as a crucial logistics hub and military supply route to occupied southern Ukraine and has been the launch pad for a series of devastating Russian missile and drone attacks. The media notes that Ukraine has previously launched many attacks on Crimea, significantly weakening the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the port of Sevastopol, and periodically striking the strategic Kirsch Bridge, which connects the peninsula with Russia. They were carried out by a variety of weapons, including air and sea drones and likely storm shadow, scalp, missiles supplied by the UK and France. But ATA CMS has a key advantage over storm shadows in that they fly much faster, the material says. The German government has supplied Ukraine with another batch of military aid, which includes air defense means, ammunition and armored vehicles. Lately Germany has supplied Ukraine with 10 martyr infantry combat vehicles with ammunition and spare parts, ammunition for Leopard 2 tanks and 7,500 rounds of 155mm ammunition. The armed forces of Ukraine also received a Skynex anti-aircraft rocket system with ammunition, almost 30,000 projectiles for Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft systems, and unspecified quantity of missiles for the Iris TSLM air defense system and a TRML-4D aerial surveillance radar station, the list also includes a Beaver bridge-laying tank, a DSHS armored engineering vehicle, nine minesweepers, self-protection systems for the AMPS helicopters, 60 outboard motors, 600 LED lamps and six tows for the transportation of M1070 tanks. Germany also provided 18,000 rounds of 40mm ammunition, 3,000 portable anti-tank manual grenade launchers RGW-90, 120mm mortar ammunition, almost 2,000 camouflage nets, 2,000 raincoats and 100,000 first aid kits for the troops. Cuban mercenaries rebelled and killed Russian regiment commander. Cuban mercenaries fighting in the Pokrovsky direction in the Donetsk region killed their commander of the 428th Motorized Rifle Regiment for humiliation. The Atesh Telegram channel reported the traffic agent from the headquarters of the center group of troops of the armed forces of the Russian Federation noted that the reason for the execution was regular humiliation, beatings and confiscation of salaries from migrant workers from Latin America. The direct executors of the execution have already been transferred to the Rostov region of the Russian Federation. The command of the regiment appealed to the general staff with a request to replace foreign mercenaries with Russian soldiers. The mercenaries added that such situations arise in the enemy army from time to time, but they do not become publicly known. Across much of Cuba, the economy has ground to a standstill as the communist-run island reels from a sharp drop in tourism, spiking inflation and renewed U.S. sanctions. In places like Santa Clara, a city of around 250,000 people with frequent hours-long daily blackouts and more horses and carts on the road than cars, there was seemingly an unlimited number of disaffected men to recruit. For months, hundreds of Cubans have quietly left the island to fight for Russia in its war in Ukraine, chasing promises of money and Russian citizenship from shadowy online recruiters. The open recruiting threatened to set back Russia's relations with their former Cold War ally Cuba, 
Since the war began, Cuban officials had increasingly echoed Russian propaganda that NATO aggression was to blame for its invasion of Ukraine. Russia, in turn, sent more shipments of crude oil to the island and promised greater foreign investment. Still, Cuban officials appear to have demonstrated forcefully that they were refusing to become directly involved in the war by allowing their citizens to serve in the Russian military with explicit Cuban state approval. For those Cubans fighting for money on the other side of the world, their choices now seem to be exile in a war zone or prosecution and a lengthy jail sentence back home.